what is going on guys i don't know what i'm doing right now it's freezing it is 40 degrees super windy and it's raining off and on i don't know if it's gonna rain right here i'm literally in like bibs this is where i wore, wore ice fishing i'm at a lake though haven't been here i went ice fishing here once last year and i don't think i caught a whole lot i think we caught a few not a ton though i'm gonna see if i can catch some fish i've only got like an hour to like an hour and a half to fish today i'm flying to uh arkansas tomorrow and uh doing stuff with the guggen squad and a whole lot of business stuff but i've just got a little bit of time to kill i'm gonna see if we can make some happen this is gonna be definitely a challenge video i know i try to do as many challenge videos as possible this is for sure gonna be a challenge video i'm gonna be very surprised if the fish are biting today this is like worst conditions possible super cold the last couple days just been pouring rain it's just not a good not a good day to uh to be fishing but you know that's just that's just what you got to do sometimes to go try to go catch some fish i've got a lot of different things tied on i've got some jerk baits some crank baits some jigs some some little finesse ned rig type stuff i'm gonna try a little bit of everything to see if i can catch some fish in about an hour that's all i've got and uh yeah it should be uh it should be interesting hopefully you guys enjoy all right i'm starting off with a little little jerk bait i'll go over here this thing's gonna work. It's clear. Yeah, this water's really clear. It's probably freezing. What's the lake area like? Super clear water, cold clear water. I always throw a jerk bait. Starting off, we'll we'll kind of we'll cycle through some baits and see what they want. Is that a fish? Yeah, I got a fish. All right, I think the jerk, I think the jerk bait goes, is going to work today, guys. Wow, that that did not take long at all. I, I totally thought this was going to be more more challenging than this. That's a good fish though. He's got a big head. That's a solid freaking fish. Just he barely nicked the jerk bait though. He didn't he didn't like crush it or anything like that. All right, Bob, see you later, buddy. Little jerk bait. This is just one of my favorite color jerk baits. I like throwing, and uh, he hit it on the pause. I thought this was going to be more challenging, but I guess, you know, fish the right baits for the right conditions. See, see guys, see, I somewhat know what I'm talking about sometimes. Sometimes. Emphasis on sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I know what I'm doing. All right, they don't want the jerk bait anymore. Caught, caught a fish on the first cast. 25 casts later, nothing. So I'm going to switch up baits. I'm going to go a little bit more finesse. This is a, uh, a Ned Rig, but it's a bigger one. You ever thrown this one? The big Ned Rig? No, not a big one, though. I've never caught a fish on it. What did we catch that one on? Oh, a little finesse, little finesse rig, all right. There's another one. That's a little guy. We're looking for the bigger ones, but that's still, it's still making progress. That's, that's two fish. There's one. There we go. That's a fat, that's a much fatter fish than that first one. Look how fat that dude, he's a little, little chunky monkey there. Jackson, see you later, buddy. That is two fish for me. Can't feel my hands, but catching fish. My tactics have worked. My jerk bait tactic and my finesse room tactic. I'm gonna keep catching some fish and I might keep mixing up the baits just to see what these fish want. You know, maybe catch a Mondo. There's, I said there's some five and six pounders in here, so I might have to throw a big jig or something like that to so try to go catch catch the big ones if, if this little finesse room doesn't catch any more big ones. All right, we're making a move. No more fish after that. It's still, it's good, but it's, it's a little slow, so we're gonna Kind of make a move here and pick up and go to a different different location. Oh, it's windy. I'm sure this audio is great. Sounds like I'm in a freaking hurricane. Oh, we got one. There you go. That's a good fish. Take that. It's another fish. First fish in the new spot. He's throwing the little finesse worm too. I think I think this little cold front, they like the little finesse. I'll name him after Dylan. All right, see you later, Dylan. All right. Skyler's got two. We're good. We're doing we're doing big things out here. We're doing better than I thought we would. Definitely. There's one. That's a good one. I think that's a good one. It's a little finesse worm. Yeah, that's a good fish. Come here, buddy. It's a freaking chunker right there. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, cold, very cold water bass. Freaking freezing out here. Nice. Jerome, see you later, buddy. Whew. Smoked another one. This is this is good. This is so surprising. I said I had no idea that we'd be actually catching fish today. Cold water fish. Sometimes, sometimes you can entice them with little 
little shaky head finesse worms. I'm gonna keep casting. I'll probably have hypothermia here in a couple minutes. See if I can catch a couple more before that happens. There's one. Oh gosh, that's a good one too. They're picking it up when I'm just letting it sit there. I'm not even moving it. That's a freaking good one. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. That's a big one, dude. Yeah, this is crazy. They're eating it just sitting there. I'm not even moving the bait. I'm going to guess three to three, probably three and a half, I would, I would say. This guy's going to run and go grab a scale real quick. Three on the dot, baby. Double. Three on the dot. We got doubles. Oh my god. We got double. Oh my god. What the heck is that? Oh my god. What the heck is that? Oh my god. Dude. Swan's crawling. Are you kidding me right now? Look at that compared to my bass. Oh my god. Dude. This is what you're catching on Tuesday. That is massive. All right. I'm going to let Fred go. See you, Fred. Check this out. 16. 16 inch crappie? What the heck? I don't know if I've ever seen a 16 inch crappie in my life. One pound, 15 two, ounces? Oh, two, oh, right at two. two. Right at two. Two pound crappie, dude. That is the most ridiculous crappie I have ever yeah. seen in my entire life. Bigger ones than that. Oh my God, that's huge. We got rain on the lens. It's cold. My hands are numb, but that is crazy. Just caught a three pound bass. If, if that thing was fat, it probably would have been three and a half to, to four pounds. And then a two pound, 16 inch crappie. I've never seen anything like that in my life. We changed locations a little bit. Made a made a jaunt to another. This is like a pond. Yeah, this is a pond. Okay. The other one's like a lake. This is more of a pond. So let's see if there's anything in here. There's a little less wind. You know, it feels a little bit less like Hurricane Katrina. So we're, I like this spot a little bit better already. Feel my hands a little bit more. It's good stuff. Thanks for a bit. Oh, there's one. There's one. It doesn't feel very big. Oh, squeaker. Well, we, we downgraded on size. Just a just a touch from the last lake. Little guy. See you, buddy. There's a big one. Big one. Big one. Big one, dude. Dude, like like big. Really, really, really big. It's a big one on a jig, dude. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, dude, it's huge. Oh my god. Oh, dude, it's huge. Oh god, go, go get it. Go get it. Yes, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yes, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god dude. I told you. First told cast you. on the oh jig. God. That thing oh, is huge. Fat. Dude. That's a freaking toad, oh, man. You have that you have that scale? Yeah. I don't even know where my phone went. Oh my god, that's a big in. I got I got I got I thought I was hung up. What do we got? Five pounds? Yeah, still five. Five on the dot. Five that pounder on the dude. I would say it looks a little bit bigger than five, but it's okay. I'll take it. Yeah. That's a freaking toad, dude. Say goodbye, big Bertha. There she goes. There you have it, folks. That is a freaking toad. I was like, uh, there's like a tree laying down and I thought I had it snagged and I kind of felt like a couple ticks and I set the hook and that thing just dug down. I thought that was like an eight or nine pounder. That's still a big fish though, five pounder. I do think the scale's a little bit light. I'm pretty good with guessing weights and I would say that one's probably pushing six, but you know, I don't know. Could have been five pounder. Regardless, regardless, it was a true Nebraska brute. I'm gonna keep throwing that jig just a little bit more though. That was fun. There's one. That feels like a pretty good fish too. Not big, we're good. That's a decent one. Yeah, that's, that's a two and a half pounder. I'll take it, that was my first flip in the, uh, with the jig in that tree. There we go, I'll take it. Nice little, another jig fish. See you later, Felipe. Nice. All right, I think, I think the jig is, uh, is the deal. It's a good cold water bait. It's a good bait for big, big bass. And anytime you have a big cold front like this, they hide really, really tight to cover. And that's where I caught that big one. It's on a log and just caught another one right off a tree.
That's a good one. That's another good one out of that tree. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. There we go. That's four. You see how fat this thing is? I mean, look how small its mouth is compared to its belly. It is ridiculous. What does this guy weigh? Four. Four pounds? Yeah, that seems about right. So I said four pounder. I'm telling you, I think the other one was weighing light, but I think I'll was. take it. Say goodbye to Jordan. See you, buddy. Nice. Well, I think they're in the trees, folks. Little guy. Squeaker! Squeak, squeak, McGee. Not the size we're looking for, but it's a fish, so you can't complain, right? Oh, well, I just realized I wasn't recording. Wow, that really does suck. I just caught this fish. How was I not recording? That doesn't make any sense at all. I have no idea how I wasn't recording, but I just missed, uh, you guys just missed the fight. That's the biggest one yet, 21 inches. And uh, I, would say, I would assume probably close to six pounds. I'm gonna get a release though. Wow, really disappointed. I pulled a pair, that was a full on parrot move, not recording. I feel so stupid right now. Biggest one yet, that was caught on the jig. Sorry guys, I really do apologize. I did not get that fish catch, but there's a uh, Lucille right here. And there she goes. Well, I feel so stupid. That really does suck, because that was a really big fish. That was bigger than the uh, than the other five pounder, the other the other big fish, but that's okay. Maybe I'll catch another one, hopefully. But I would say that one's probably pretty close to six pounds. Twenty one inches in that fat, pretty close to freaking six pounds. All right, that's good. I'll uh, I'll attempt to hit record this time, and uh, yeah, let's keep fishing. Well, guys, as you can see, it's windy. Get back in the truck. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. How's it going folks? I am back in my truck. Got out of the wind. It's uh, it's still blowing a solid 30 miles a freaking hour right now. And uh, like I said, I didn't have a lot of time to fish. I, I stayed for like an hour and a half. Uh, that's the only, that's all the time that I had today. Just had a lot of business stuff to do and uh, I gotta pack right when I get home and then catch a flight in the morning and uh and head to somewhere else my next destination i don't know how much filming i'm going to be doing there but i gotta get it i've got to be there the whole gigan squad's going to be there we're, we're going to have some fun anyways i'm going to end the video here uh i hope you guys really did enjoy this video this was a learning experience for myself and hopefully you guys as well i i really did doubt myself going into this i had no high expectations whatsoever and i guess this just goes to show that like you really should just go fishing. You know, I really didn't want to go and I was like, it's cold, it's it's literally 40 degrees, windy and rainy. I want to just stay home and relax and, you know, kick on the YouTube and just watch some videos and, and chill. And, you know, I was like, you know what, screw it. Just try it, just try it for like an hour, you know, you, and just see if it works out. And it was like literally one of the best, one of the best, not the best, one of the best days of bank fishing I've ever had. I mean, I had one close to six, Another one that was in the fives and another one that was in the fours. You know, I don't, I, I mean, I'm not saying this, no BS. I do believe Skyler's scale was off. Um, I am usually pretty dang good at guessing, guessing weight. And a 21 inch fish that's that fat is usually over right at five pounds. I mean, it's usually about five and a half to six. So granted, regardless, they were still good fish. I'm not gonna sit here complain about the weights because they are what they are. I didn't bring a scale and that's my own fault. For those of you guys that were watching this and wanted to take something from it and you guys wanna learn, the main thing here is when it's cold, when a cold front hits, when it's been warm for a while, warm, 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 and then it gets cold, fish tend to, they tend to get into cover. Kind of like you would go snuggle up in your little snuggie or something at home and turn on the fireplace and relax. That's kind of what they do in a different way. They, they kind of snuggle up in, in a bush or, you know, a brush pile or a lay down or maybe on some rocks. Rocks also hold heat. So that's another thing is that lake didn't have rocks, but if you're fishing lake with rocks, they hold heat. So uh, that'd be like you climbing in your bed on like a heated mattress pad. That's kind of kind of what they're doing. That's that's at least my take from today. I don't know how accurate my uh, my conclusion is, but uh, I mean I caught fish. So I mean I I can't complain. I caught them on a jerk bait and uh, a little bit of a Ned rig, and then that jig. And I kind of had a feeling I caught I caught that four pounder on the first cast of the jig. I had a feeling. You know, if there are big fish in here and it's cold, something big, bulky, and slow moving is what's gonna do it. And it did, the jig absolutely killed it. And uh, so everything was good.
good. As far as colors for the jig, I picked a green, like a green pumpkin-ish, because the water was clear and, uh, you know, the bass there feed on bluegill. So that was kind of my, uh, my take on why, I, you know, went with the colors that I went with. I'm not going to make this video any longer, though. I want to I want to end it. I want to keep you guys much longer. But, like I said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It means the world to me when I see a whole bunch of thumbs up. And drop a comment down below. That's the other thing is I read, believe it or not, I read every single freaking comment on every single one of my videos. Uh, so leave a comment, leave a question, uh, maybe a suggestion on my next destination to travel to, whatever you guys want. Leave a like and drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.